Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 2nd of 2020, well, it is titled Zeta Ophiuchi, Runaway Star. So what do we see here? Well, this blue star at the center is actually what is called a runaway star traveling at an extremely high velocity of over 20 kilometers every second. So an extremely high rate of speed. And as it does that, its stellar wind preceding it in, uh, compresses the interstellar medium around it. And that produces the shock wave that we see to the left-hand side of the star here. So... It is traveling very quickly through space, but it's traveling through an area with a decent amount of material and therefore compresses it as it travels through this. Now, this would be one of the brighter stars in the sky, but it isn't because it happens to be located in a very dusty area. And dust does two things to stars. First of all, it dims their light. It blocks out some of the light, making them look a little bit fainter than they otherwise would. And it also causes their light to look a little bit redder. So in reality, the star would actually be a little bluer than it actually appears. So it is a very high mass star, 20 times the mass of our own sun. And one of the good questions is, why is it traveling so fast through space? Stars do move through space, but not usually this quickly. So what would accelerate a star to such a high speed? And what astronomers believe happens to this is that it was probably part of a binary star system at one point, that there were two stars, and then something happened to that second star, and that it, star, that it exploded as a supernova. So if that star would explode, it would lose a lot of its mass, changing the mass of the system, and possibly flinging this star out on its runaway path. So it takes something drastic to order to accelerate something 20 times the mass of our sun to such a high speed as it rushes through space. Now, this image was taken by the Spitzer Space Telescope, which has spent 16 years uh, studying the sky in the infrared. So looking at the infrared, which helps us to penetrate dust. Longer wavelengths like infrared are able to penetrate through dust better than ordinary visible light that we're used to seeing. And that allows us to study things that would otherwise be hidden from view to us. So it has had time for that over the last 16 years. However, it has just recently been uh, put into safe mode, which essentially means they can keep basic control of the craft, but that it is no longer operating as a telescope. So it has finally finished its mission, having given us a lot of great studies in the infrared portion of the spectrum. So that was our picture of the day for February the 2nd of 2020. It was titled Zeta Ophiuchi, Runaway Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be sun bubbling. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.